When you log into the platform, group waiting areas are clearly indicated. Once you have callers waiting, you'll see their names and details and you'll be able to launch your call. You'll see a self view with call controls at the bottom of the screen. Your callers have similar buttons and layout. Your callers cannot send content. The microphone and camera buttons allow you to mute or unmute them. If you have multiple mics or cameras, they allow switching too. Share content, depending on the browser in use, allows full screen sharing, which should normally be avoided in group calls, sharing of an application window, or sharing another browser tab. Audio from that tab can also be shared if desired. If enabled for your waiting area, text chat can also be sent to the whole group or individuals. The chat is wiped at the end of your session. Like your callers, you can raise or lower a hand notification to alert others you'd like to speak. There's an individual layout button as well. Changes you make here do not affect what your callers see. They can alter their own layouts themselves. The performance setting button is an interesting one. Moving from highest quality closer to best performance can be a benefit to those with slower connections. If you or your callers move the slider all the way down to best performance, the call becomes an audio only one. Providers have further settings accessed through the three dot menu button. Of note is the ability to alter your background. Processing is done using your local devices resources, not the platforms, which can lead to call quality degrading. Before admitting all your callers, you have the ability to drop individual ones by clicking the small x to the right of their name. To let all or the remaining callers in, use the Admit All button. Once you've admitted your callers, you'll see your callers' initials on their video tile and their full names in the participant list to the right. Callers do not see a participant list. They see initials below other callers' video tiles and the first and last name of any service provider in a call. Should you wish to drop a caller, you can click on the small x to the right of their name. You and your callers have individual layout options. To make a particular video tile fill the call screen, click on that tile. You'll then see the other callers in smaller tiles to the right. To return to your initial layout, use the layout control. In addition to the standard call controls, you have some control for individual callers. I've chosen to send a private message. So long as the caller responds to your message by using the reply button, any response will only be seen by you. Close the private chat to message the whole group. Since you've just come from a private chat, you'll receive an on-screen message prompting a double check of your intended chat audience. We'd recommend a twin screen system if you regularly share PC content, as it's easy to drag your content to one of the screens while viewing your callers on the other. However, even with a single screen PC, content sharing within a group call is simple. Just click the button and choose your source. Full screen should be avoided as it will show all your callers the other callers' full names and any private chat messages. When you start sharing, your callers will see your shared content in your video tile. As before, to fill their call screen, they can click on that video tile. If you'd like your callers to see you as well as your content, get to the camera control and unmute it. Your callers will then see you at the bottom right of your presentation. To stop sharing, click the Share button again. You have two choices for leaving the call. The Leave Consultation button allows you to leave your callers and any other providers in the call. Without another provider in the call, your other callers will have two minutes before the session finishes, unless you rejoin the call or another provider joins. The End Consultation button will end the session for everyone.